2020 candidate and billionaire, Michael Bloomberg, used prison labor to make campaign calls. Now, this is a story that is crazy, but also not all that surprising and kind of humorous, actually, because of how absurd this entire thing is. So let me show you the uh, story here. This was broken. Uh, the story broke in The Intercept. So John Washington tweets out here. Scoop, Bloomberg's campaign was using prison labor to make campaign calls. They said they canceled the contract yesterday when I asked them about it. My latest for The Intercept. So Michael Bloomberg um, has spent something like $100 million on campaign ads. A hundred million. Bernie Sanders has spent, I believe, about eight million is the count that I saw. So we're talking like Bloomberg is using his own money for his own vanity project here to raise his own profile, not only on campaign ads, but on prison labor. So to be, I guess, super charitable here, this was through a third party contractor. So it, potentially he didn't know. I mean, you would imagine if the campaign knew they were using prison labor, that they would make sure they weren't doing that um, because of how horrible it looks for a billionaire to, you know, cheap out when it comes to paying people for uh, to help his campaign. But even apart from that, I thought like real people were supposed to be doing this, like actual volunteers were supposed to be the ones phone banking. He has no real support, so he has to pay people to phone bank for him. I got to be honest with you. I didn't even really know this was a thing. I just figured, you know, you phone bank for who you want to phone bank for. I guess I never, I never really clued into the fact that, yeah, you could pay, you could pay other people just to phone bank for you. I mean, the whole story is absurd to me. Um, let me just read a little piece of it here. Uh, again, the Intercept broke it. Uh, Mike Bloomberg exploited prison labor to make 2020 presidential campaign calls. Let me zoom in a little bit so I can see this. So, uh, former New York City mayor and multi-billionaire Democratic candidate Mike Bloomberg used prison labor to make campaign calls through a third-party vendor. The Mike Bloomberg uh, campaign contracted New Jersey-based call center company Procom, which runs call centers in New Jersey and Oklahoma. Two of the call centers in Oklahoma are operated out of state prisons. In at least one of the two prisons, incarcerated people were contracted to make calls on behalf of the Bloomberg campaign. According to a source who asked for anonymity for fear of retribution, people incarcerated at the Dr. Eddie Warrior Correctional Center, a minimum security women's prison with a capacity of more than 900, were making calls to California on behalf of Bloomberg. The people were required to end their calls by disclosing that the calls were paid for by the Bloomberg campaign. They did not disclose, however, that they were calling from behind bars. All right. Uh, I'm not going to read this whole story again. Go to The Intercept to get the entire piece here. But um, this is kind of, I, I almost don't even know what to say here because Bloomberg has no real support. Like he's essentially trying to buy his way into this nomination. But I don't think it's going to work. You could spend a lot of money and yes, I guess you'll raise your name recognition. But if you saw my video uh, covering the, uh, the, uh, the focus group that watched the last debate, the December debate... At one point, I didn't cover it in that video, but there's a part of that focus group where they discuss Michael Bloomberg. And um, Frank Luntz asks the focus group, hey, if Michael Bloomberg was on this debate stage or in this, you know, in this race, do you support Michael Bloomberg or would you support him, uh, you know, when you go to vote? Not one person in that room <laughs> raised their hand. Everybody in that room, and it was a big focus group, were against the idea of Michael Bloomberg running. So... I think people are seeing through this. They don't want a billionaire. And I even think Michael Bloomberg himself knows he doesn't have really have a shot at this nomination, but he may potentially try and run a third party candidacy um, if, say, Bernie Sanders wins the nomination. But even in that scenario, I really question how much support he would actually get. I mean, you're going to get, you know, the Joe Scarborough vote, the, the wealthy, you know, newscaster, people that run massive corporations that are worth billions, you'll get their vote. You get Jeff Bezos' vote, but are you going to get the vote of, you know, even 5% of people in the country? 
I don't think so. And I think a lot, potentially a lot of his support, if he were to run a third party uh, candidacy, a lot of his support could come from Republicans, could come from, you know, Republican uh, wealthy people that also, sure, they, uh, they don't want Sanders, but they also don't like how Trump is so, you know, overtly terrible. They may vote for uh, a Michael Bloomberg. I don't really know who this hurts. Who, uh, what a third party run, uh, who would hurt? I guess you could say it would hurt Bernie in the sense that it would potentially give some Democratic voters that have been um, misinformed by cable news to not vote for Bernie. But in that, in the conversation of that process, it has to obviously be discussed, and it would just be obvious to anybody that that would be spoiling the election and you would hand it to Donald Trump, which Democratic voters also don't want. So... Look, a lot of this right now is just predictions. We don't even know if he'll run as a third party candidate, but I can't imagine he thinks he has a shot at this at this nomination. He has almost no support. He's trying to buy a support. It's not really working. And with stories like this coming out, how far can you uh, really get? So there's that. Maybe as an addition to this story, let me just bring this up because um, this was hilarious. Bloomberg put this story out. Again, this is <laughs> this is a website that Michael Bloomberg owns, um, but he's not supposed to be in contact with with the reporting. But clearly, you got some kiss asses working uh, on the Bloomberg website posting this story. Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren have hammered Amazon on the stump, but their campaigns have also spent hundreds of thousands of dollars buying supplies off the site. Oh no, can't support them now. I guess I got to support Michael Bloomberg. <laughs> like who is this story for Th- this is this is the mindset of these dipshits that you know run the media they think this is actually going to work on people as uh ryan grimm here says this is a cartoon this cartoon in fact we should improve society somewhat yet you participate in society curious i am very intelligent uh <laughs> that's it that's the story this idea that you can't participate in a society that you want to improve is crazy. That's just the nature of how politics works. Like, otherwise, what's the, what's the option? Fight for nothing and just be always happy with the status quo? No, you want to improve things. You want to change things. So, yeah, there are parts of society that it'd be nice if I didn't have to do them. Like, it'd be, it'd be great if I didn't have to drive a car that uses gas, but I can't afford an electric car. Um, it'd be nice if I didn't have to fly in an airplane, but sometimes I got to go places like, sure. It'd be nice if this camp, these campaigns didn't use Amazon, but everything, I mean, Amazon essentially controls the internet when it comes to shopping, you can get anything on there and get it immediately. And that's important for campaigns that have to be nimble. So yes, like all of this, like these kinds of criticisms are just so ignorant of the fact that inherently we have to live and participate in a society that we are trying to improve and i don't even know what else to add to that i mean it it shows you um that (laughs) shows you that people that uh work for bloomberg and bloomberg himself are really disconnected from reality let's just see who wrote this because i'm actually i'm just curious spencer soper all right this uh this guy is clearly trying to angle for uh a promotion so there you go what an absurd story all right, enough of Bloomberg. Why do I even talk about it? This is what I mean. Like, I almost didn't cover this story because Bloomberg is not important. But you never know. You never know if he tries to pull something like a third-party run. It's important to uh, already have a, uh, a base of knowledge of who Bloomberg is.